What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today we've got a quick guide for you in Power World on some basic base building tips and tricks so you can avoid all the problems and pitfalls that we've suffered so far. Now, the very basics to building a guide is you put down your power box, you can then build in your area of influence and construct your own little base. Now, starting with the very basics, where to put your first base, we do have a more detailed guide up on this, um, but I do recommend either coming down to here, at this location we've got a base there now, I'll explain in a minute why, or building your first base next to the grassy Bayamoth Hills. And this is where you'll come from, the Plateau of Beginnings. Very close. That's a bit further away, a little bit harder to get to, but it's not impossible. Now, why is that? So as you upgrade your power box, you will eventually unlock additional bases. Typically, you are going to get to a point where you need more valuable resources before you're able to build your second base. The chances are, in order to build your second base, you're going to have to destroy your first one by going to the map and destroying it. Obviously, if you do that, all your powers go into your power box. You lose half the buildings there that have to be within a base. And then you have to lug all of your materials from one place to another. If you build your first base next to Grassy Baymoth Hills, the fast travel point, you can use that to travel to your new base. You can also build here, which means you're not going to have to get rid of your first base. You're going to use that the entire game because there is tons of iron here, which makes it a really good place for a starting base. So the first tip when you build a base is to put down a box nearby. Now these boxes work fine. I'll show you the better one over here. Let's head to the base down here. You are going to need multiple bases. There's no way around it. So this is the all base. This is a fantastic starting spot for a base. If you're brave enough to sort of at very early levels, fight your way through to this bit, avoiding most of the enemies if you can. It's the perfect starting place for a base. You put down a bunch of pals here that can mine. They will mine all for you passively as you progress. Now, unfortunately, our server's a bit bugged. Um, pals won't mine passively, so we have to come and do it ourselves, but that's not a big problem. So the best thing to build next to your pal base is one of these. Now, you're not going to get one of these for a little while. It's part of the storage section as you're building through. Um, so we can see here we've got all these different types of storage. The wooden barrel shelf is great because you can get so close. So I sit here and I mine all this stuff. I get to drop them all in here. And then when I'm at capacity, I'll stand here so I can access this. I'll grab as much as I can. See, right now I'm well overweight. I can immediately fast travel back to my other base like this. And at the other base, I haven't built one of those other boxes yet, but I've got one nearby. So I can simply drop all of this stuff here, move, pick it up, put it in the box. Sometimes it's a bit of an issue and you've got to do it twice. That's why it's better to have the other one if you can. Now, um, depending on obviously if you're brand new, basically anything you've got that's inside a box that is inside your fear of influence, there's a big blue line that you can just about see over here. Anything in a box there is available to be used for crafting. So it doesn't matter what box it's in, it's available to be used. So let's go over the actual aspects of building a base. Don't do this. OK, everything in here is completely inaccessible to 90% of our pals. Now, I can put down a pal who will build for me and he will do things. That's great. But he only does it while I'm here. And this one's not particularly fast. Now, the reason they won't come in here is, is a multitude of reasons. So this passageway here is too thin. They won't path past these two. If I destroy this, some of them can make it in. Some of them can't make it in. So as it stands right now, while the pathing and the issues are being resolved, I recommend putting almost all of your structures outside if you're going to need a power to help you make it put it outside so you can put the power bench inside the ones there aren't massive in terms of how much it costs to make them so you can do it with just your pal without any issues you can put your repair bench inside because that's got nothing to do with any pals other things such as the medicine cabinet now these have a massive uh, crafting score so you can see 500 workload 300 workload they've actually come down a lot they're a lot worse um so you want to make sure that your more important, more regularly used structures are placed outside so your pals can help you. Now, there may be ways to help them path inside. I'm going to work on building a much larger base to see if that helps. But the pal path thing is a real issue. So I'll show you one right now. As I've come back to my base, someone's hungry up there. One of my uh, flying guys is hungry. Now, I know for a fact that my food storage is full of food. It's 5,000 berries, 1,400 wheat. He should not be hungry, but just looking at that tells me he's stuck somewhere. And this happens very, very often in the game. And the trouble is when I'm not here, he will still be stuck. So he won't be doing his job. He'll be losing hunger. As that drops, his sanity will drop. He will then get injured and sick and be useless. So every time you come back, you can see he's up there. I'm going to look for the one that's the most hungry. Probably not that one. They seem okay. He's knackered. So I'm going to bring him out up here, pop him back down. And then if you saw before, he was the one that was stuck up on the cliff over there. He's now all good. I'll go and assign him his job again. So managing the pals, there's a lot of micromanaging right now. Not 
intentionally the game just you know it's pathing in these games is always an issue you can see over here i've got a problem with this corner of my base because this is where they come to grab the wood from the base constructing something too close to the edge when they get on the outside they do that they go a bit crazy so try and keep your stuff centralized if possible if you're putting anything on the outskirts just put stuff on the outskirts that you're going to use or stuff that's pretty and not for any kind of function so this for example this device over here pals don't use this it's just for us so we can throw it right away on the corner now if you can building somewhere open and flat is best but even here where half of these stone areas are outside of our range the pals still get stuck so there's nothing you're going to be able to do to stop them getting stuck entirely they're going to get stuck they're going to struggle pathing you can problem solve a little bit so if i build something in here right now so we'll take something nice and easy like a little campfire i'm gonna pop this down when i can find it i'm gonna throw this here and we'll see if any of the powers can get inside so you can see here five of them have been assigned to it and if you wait a couple of seconds no one shows up these guys usually storm for this stuff so they'll be here in half a second it means that your, your pals can't path your location. So anything you build in here, anything you need assistance with in here, you're going to have to use your own pal or it won't happen. Now, if I go and build that outside, if you watch the difference, all of them straight away flocking straight to it. So make sure when you are building, if you're, see, I already built, I built this base first before we moved here. So when I moved here, I realized it was a problem. If you're doing it as you're building, just place things down in places and you will see if they react. If they can't get to the location, chances are they'll never be able to get there. There are some, some examples where that doesn't happen, but most of the time that's what's going to happen. So to summarize, basically, centralize as much of your stuff as possible. Don't build too close to your boundaries. When you are building stuff that the powers want to use, try and space them out. So for example, these beds are just about the limit. Any closer than that, any more than that, they're not going to use them make sure when your pals are sleeping at night they're using the beds if too many of them are sleeping on the floor it means they can't path to your beds and they're not getting the benefit of sleeping on an actual bed make sure when you build your pal box you build it somewhere where you can build a large box nearby so you can do the little transport trick i showed you before um, in terms of any other places you want to build a starting base this is probably the best one um we built a base here just because it was easily defendable all the enemies come down that big row there and then come around that corner and we destroy them very quickly and easily We've turned raids off for the minute just because we've got sick of the exploding birds coming in. But defending is an aspect you might want to look into depending if you've got that turned on or not. Um, there's a good base location up here. This is for coal. That's more mid to late game really. You don't need that too early game. Um, ultimately, build at least one base where you just want to build it. You know, For those that like building bases, you see somewhere cool. Maybe there's a waterfall, a lake, a big cavern place like this where you think that's going to be awesome. Plop it down and throw it there. The other stuff will slow you down a little bit. You know, as long as you've got an ore base, you should be fine. Um, but as you go forward, you're going to need bases for pure quartz, all this other stuff. So just plop down your first base where you like it. As long as you always build a big box near your base, as you build new bases, you can always transfer all of your stuff very quickly and very easily. All right, guys, there you go. Just a nice quick one for me. Well, a bit longer than normal, but just wanted to throw you guys some basic tips and tricks to avoid some of the pitfalls we have, as it's caused quite a few problems. So there you go. Nice and quick, nice and easy. Get winning, get back to the game. We hope you enjoyed today. Do like, subscribe. We do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.